Hey guys, Chris here, the RC Geek. Welcome back. We're coming to you from the shop today, and uh, you know, I gave you guys my Back from the Ashes video uh, on the E-Flight P39. We also did the weathering video uh, and the refinish, uh, talking through that. I thought it only appropriate to give you guys my full review on the airplane. The whole intention with this model was to give you guys that review, uh, and when it crashed, uh, I guess I saw the opportunity to uh, really take a model that I enjoyed flying very much uh, and then just give it the full treatment. And I'm so glad that I did because it the airplane just looks fantastic. Uh, I'm really happy with how it came out. Now, in terms of you know the stock assembly, these latest E-Flight airframes have been extremely well engineered and so it goes together super easily, super quickly. Now the assembly starts by screwing the tails in place uh, and then from there you bolt the wing on uh, and that is pretty much it. You know, you drop the gear and then get your prop on, set up your radio. Uh, but the airplane does have the hard mounted connectors in the wing and one thing I would mention is just to ensure that uh, those connectors are really seated well on this airframe, uh, you can actually gain access to it through the hatch uh, and so then once you have the wing on, open the hatch up, push those connectors down, make sure that they're seated really well. Uh, that would be my recommendation. Otherwise, uh, you know, the finish on the airframe, the stock airframe is actually quite nice. Uh, I did like the paint scheme. Uh, it was very well done. Uh, of course, you know, <laughs> crashed the airplane, so I completely refinished that. Uh, and if you'd like to see more on it, uh, you can see my weathering video. Uh, there's a link in the corner, as well as, you know, I used my whole foam refinishing process that I've documented, uh, and that's at thercgeek.com slash kitbashing. You know, some of the takeaways, filled in all of the panel lines, smoothed out the airframe using a lightweight spackle, used some uh, Minwax polycrylic to seal it all up, uh, and then just primer and paint. Uh, and it actually, to smooth out a model like this, it takes multiple layers a primer, sand, primer, to really get a smooth finish like we have here. That was it, on to the paint. And so I talk a lot more about this in my weathering video, so be sure to check that out. So in terms of the controls on the elevator, I'm running 10 millimeters up and down with 5% expo. On the ailerons, nine millimeters up and down with no expo at all on those. Uh, and then for the rudder, 23 millimeters left to right with 25% expo, and that expo is there really to help desensitize the steering uh, quite a bit. Now for the flaps, uh, I'm at 20 millimeters at half flap, or takeoff flap if you will, and then 48 millimeters uh, for full flap, and I've got a 2% down elevator mix. Doesn't require very much at all, I could probably get away with no mix at all. So in terms of the CG, I'm actually running the CG at about the aft location uh, that's recommended in the manual. Uh, I'm running a 4 cell 3600, I've got an Admiral pack there, and I'm also running the Spectrum 3200 uh, Smart pack. Those packs are, are essentially pushed all the way forward in the nose. I ended up removing the plastic tray that it comes with, uh, but the beauty is with those large capacity packs, the airplane flies great and I can fly for extremely long flight times. Uh, my timer is set at five and a half minutes uh, and I can fly the airplane as hard as I really want and I'm still landing with about 3.8 volts per cell uh, and so it's a great setup, super efficient, I love it. Now in the air it's a great flying airplane. It's got fantastic power and speed on the four cells. It'll literally climb for days, it's great uh, and so it flies like a really fun, high performance scale airplane. And so, you know, the rolls are nice and axial. It'll do a knife edge, although I did attempt it after the refinish uh, and I threw the hatch off. <laughs> uh, so I added a couple extra magnets there and uh, that certainly did help. You know what, let's take this out to the field. We'll give you guys a flight, show you what it can do, and then we'll wrap this up.
right guys, so there we have the E-Flight P-39 Air Cobra. This is an airplane that looks good out of the box. It flies great. I definitely recommend the four cells. Uh, it flies wonderfully with four cells. has great power. Uh, and so, yeah, that is it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow along on social media at the RC Geek. Uh, and until next time, I'll see you at the field.